Hey everyone, it's uh, Brats the World here again with another haul. Um, this one is rather smaller than the last one, which was a 25 minute video, and I'm surprised that y'all actually stuck out and watched it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who actually watched it entirely, but who cares? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm here with another Brats haul, and greeting y'all today instead of Funk Out Jade, which is over there, my near business, looking gorgeous. It's actually, um, totally polished Megan. Um, I will insert a picture to show y'all how she actually looked like before I basically gave her my own transformation. Um, she's not part of the haul. I had this doll for about almost 10 years. In, tw in 2023, it'll be 10 years since I had this doll. I got her in 2013 when the Bratz went through their tall era, which was, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to talk about that. But anyway, yeah. Give her this makeover. She low key looks like the original doll, but I just have to give her boots to match her. But yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna move on with the haul. So the first doll I'm gonna start with today is actually the Pamper Pup Salon. Um, Yasmin, or I think this line unofficially would be known as Pamper Pups Wave 2. Yeah, so this is Yasmin who is honestly really pretty i feel like the whole line is just extremely gorgeous chloe sasha and of course yasmin right here are really pretty they come in these beautiful dresses um each doll um i don't know if they all have the same material but i know that they all have like their own variation to it so yeah we're gonna start with yasmin's face and i will be honest i'm actually disappointed i did say that her face was pretty but look look at the printing why is one side HD and the other side is stuck in 1985? Please explain that to me. I was just a- oh, okay. Sorry about that. Yasmin just didn't want to stand up today. Anyway, so yeah, like I said about her face, um, I do not like the fact that the uh, seller did not specify that her face was printed out like this. So I was excited when I got her and then I opened it and I'm like, ew. I didn't mean like ill, like blah, but like ill and like the defect and the fact that I just was just never notified that she came like this. I am happy that, you know, the rest of her face is in good condition and dress came out good, shoes came out good or whatever. But the fact that this happened, it was just like, I don't know. I was just, I was just really disappointed. But anyway, I'm just going to go through her real quick. Um, oh, um, spoiler alert. Uh, or disclaimer, whatever you want to call it. I did do all of their hair for this video. I was going to film yesterday, but I was not in the mood. Plus, I had more dolls coming in today, so... And she wants to fall again. Okay, bro. And, okay, not this shit show. Y'all, this tr doll is giving me nothing but trouble. Anyway, moving on before she, like, breaks my house. Um, she comes with, like, smoky, you know, browns and um, grayish eye eyeshadow with, you know classic standardized the beauty mark on the side of her left eye kind of like peachy with some pink hues in her lips which i really love like her makeup in here is amazing annoyed that is looks like she's yellow as hell but she's not trust me anyway so she comes with this really pretty uh leopard print dress with the belt detailing and pink of course the belt is not separate by the way and of course, she comes with 99 inspired heels, like the clear soles and the um, lace detail with the rose. Um, but yeah, this is Miss Pamper Pup's salon style Yasmin. So the next doll right here is um, the Bratz Head Games set. She came, this is Jade by the way. Um, so I will actually insert a picture because I have another head from the set. Um, she's going to be featured in the video. So the set c it features Jade, Dana, Megan, and Chloe. Um, there is another set with all the four arena heads. I do have one of the arena heads, only the blonde one. I want the red one so freaking bad. Um, but yeah. Anyway, moving on to Jade. Jade is literally so gorgeous. So, I will give out a bit of info on the head game set. They all have the same faces as the Girls Not Out dolls from 2004. This set came out 2005, 2006, I believe. Not certain, but I will insert below what year they came out. 
But yeah, they have the exact same faces as the Girls Night Out dolls. Um, Jade, of course, you know, has her Girls Night Out doll face. I will insert a picture to show you. Uh, my boyfriend does have her, but she is in his house, so I can't provide a comparison. But anyway, she is literally so pretty. So yeah, Jade has beautiful pump, plumped, pump, anyway, plump red lips with a dark red lip liner, um, gorgeous aqua eyeshadow, brown eyes. Um, I believe she has some gray in her brow bone, which looks really good. Um, so what I did was, since Jade has the same face as the Girls Night Out Jade, I dressed her in a inspired Girls Night Out outfit. So I gave her like this white tank top that I got from AliExpress, but it's actually a Head Games doll, out, doll top. Um, an actual Girls Night Out slash Secret Date Jade vest. I got this one out of the doll, but I thought it'd be appropriate to put on her the girls night out capris i also got these from aliexpress and these blue heels that i randomly had from a long time so i thought it would go perfect with her eyeshadow because let's face it a pop of color never hurt and yeah she comes with the ponytail hairstyle and the annoying zigzag parting which gave me a headache i literally spent like 20 something minutes just trying to put her hair together i am happy with the result i'm not gonna front i thought i did a great job but yeah she is oh sorry this is Jade. And voila! The next Head Games doll right here is the Head Games Megan from the exact same set. She is freaking gorgeous. Like, she is one of my favorite Megan screenings ever. I love when Megan just looks so, like, C V N T. I will spell it out on the screen and you guys will say it on your own. Um, but yeah, she looks so good. I love when they give, like, auburn red hair to Megan, but sometimes I do wish that this Megan had, like, you know, her original fiery orange red hair. But anyway, so this Megan has the exact same face as the Girls' Night Out Yasmin, and I actually have Yasmin here, um, for comparison. Um, as you can see, they have some color differences, but it's the exact same face, except they just, you know, made it work for Megan. But, yeah. Anyway, moving on. So, like I said, she has the purple tones on her eyes, eyeshadow, and her lips. Um, it was some brown in there. And, you know, there are some cases that we do see Megan with brown eyes. Really rare, but there are some cases that we see that. Um... And I dressed her in this, uh, like the fat one of the fashion pack outfits. I had this for a really long time, but it was unused. So now, since this outfit honestly I feel like matches her whole getup, it looks so good on her. And then I also dressed her in, I think these are the Bratz World Family Sonia shoes, which Sonia is Chloe's older sister. I will insert a picture, but somewhere around, so you guys can get an idea. And I thought the shoes would look look really good with this outfit. And she also came with the classic Bratz ponytail, and yeah, she didn't give me she didn't give me trouble like Jade did. So yeah, that's Miss. Oh, not the blur, Megan. So the next stall here is actually Birthday Bash Yasmin, who honestly I did not expect to be so freaking pretty. Like just look at her, all the colors in her face, amazing outfit stunning like let's be real she freaking ate anyway um so she comes with a lot of purples literally all around starting with the makeup she has purple blues in the eyeshadow classic brown eyes you know classic beauty mark on the left eye these bright pink lips with the dark pink lip liner which i think looks so good with her makeup um then her outfit which is actually one of my faves in the line and especially in the Bratz video game. Um, so if you have the Bratz Rock Angels video game for uh, PS2, don't know about GameCube, but you can unlock the Chi with, you can unlock this outfit via Chi, I mean, but don't know. I don't know what the Chi is off memory, so go figure it out. Um, yeah, so she comes with this purple bluish hue um, corset with black around it. And the black is like felt material and it's really soft, I love it. Then she comes with this black um, um, frilly skirt with the purple blue um, lining and purple bluish leggings. Um, I will let you guys know that it's all connected. It could go. There we go. It's all connected. It's not separated. So all the Bratz Birthday Bash girls um, 
have skirts with leggings, but they're all connected and nothing is separate. And lastly, we go down to the shoes, which are the classic pumps with the white heel touch. And they're in the same color scheme as her top, which is like the purple-ish, bluish, blackish hue. And yeah, that's the birthday bash Yasmin. So the next stall um, that came today, along with my last stall, which is coming up, is Hollywood style Chloe. And I was actually really, really happy when I bought her because she's actually one of my childhood dolls. I remember playing with her like all the time. Don't really know what happened to her if I'm being honest. I just remember she was gone. But anyway, she's so pretty. She kind of reminds me of a uh, formal funk Chloe, but with brighter colors. Um, yeah, she's really pretty. She comes with, like, um, aqua pink eyeshadow with sh shimmer pink on the brow bone. Pretty blue eyes, as always. Um, peachy-ish, um, kind of pinkish lips of glitter. Um, she came with her aqua necklace, which I thought was surprising, because brats, when I ordered them secondhand, they don't really come with like jewelry, so that was a surprise. She didn't come with her earrings, which is whatever. I don't really, to be honest, I care more for bags and necklaces more than earrings. Uh, comment below and let me know if you agree because I must not be the only one with that mentality. Anyway, so she came with her original outfit, which is this really pretty, like beaded aqua dress. Um, she came with her denim jacket, which comes with glitter on the sleeves and the bottom part oh and even the cuff part that's so cool and then i never noticed that detail when i was younger i mean who would and then with the classic um flower sandals also she did come with her bag which i thought was great so the very last doll that i have for you guys today is miss class phoebe um oh my goodness guys i I can't believe I'm even saying that I own her. I can't even just like, ugh. Mm, 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 yeah, that's literally how I'm feeling right now. Sorry, you guys. I had to regroup myself for a second. But yeah, uh, Miss Class Phoebe right here. She is so freaking gorgeous. Um, literally one day I was just on eBay randomly scrolling and I found her nude. Um, I do not mind that she didn't come with anything because I already found all her clothes, well, the majority of her important clothes on AliExpress. So, buying her like this was no issue at all. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I really, really want Yasmin and Chloe so we can, so me and my boyfriend can complete the line. But yeah, she is so pretty. Um, she's pretty interesting for a Phoebe because she comes with green eyes, not her usual purple blue tone eyes. And she's missing her mole. So if Bratz wanted to play their game, they could have easily made her a new character. In my opinion, if Bratz wanted to, they could have made her um, Liliana from the Bratz 10 10 10 dolls. I will insert a picture to show you guys how she actually looks like. But yeah, I feel like this would be like Liliana before like a 10th anniversary makeover. She does have a scuff in the middle of her forehead, but I feel like that would be easy to take off. So I'm not even worried. She comes with green and pink eyeshadow, it looks so good. Green eyes and like peachy pink lips with the dark pink lip liner. Like I said, no clothes, but I did order her things on, um, almost at Amazon Express. I wish it was Amazon Express, AliExpress. But yeah, that's Phoebe. Hey guys, um, it's me again. I just wanted to show you guys how the girls look like a day after um, cleaning up. So I actually had a portion filmed last night but I was too tired and re-watching over this morning, I just didn't like it, so. And how I felt reflected onto the video and I was like, ew. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just here refilming it. Um, so yeah, Chloe and Phoebe are 100% done. So I'm gonna start with Chloe. Chloe turned out magnificent. She looks so good. Um, you know, basic hair wash, nothing crazy. Yeah, she has some, some split ends here and there, which is annoying, but it's okay. Nothing nothing hard to fit, of course. But yeah, Miss Hollywood Chloe, looking stunning. And then Phoebe right here. Hey, Jade. Um, Phoebe right here. She, okay, so she, not that she gave me issues, but she was sort of difficult. Like, she had a lot of knots 
in her hair, which is so annoying. Um, thankfully, my sink had like those like catcher things, and I was like looking at Phoebe like, "Girl, are you serious right now?" But anyway, um, so yeah, she, I think she turned out really good. I will be completely honest; this hairstyle is a pain in the ass to do. For some reason, when I did it on Twins Nona and um, who's here the doll that had it? Oh, Twins Valentina, because they also have the same hairstyle as her. Um, they didn't give me no issues at all. Like they were pretty simple, matched everything. But when doing this one, it was kind of hard, and I was kind of annoyed. Cause like, okay, Phoebe, stop. I mean, I do like this one, this version way better, cause you get to see her face more. Cause she look at her, she's freaking gorgeous. Like Phoebe, green eyes, like that's it. The hit, the hit's different. But anyway, um. Since I don't have her original outfit yet, um, I did order it from AliExpress. I'm currently waiting on it. I just basically put her on Feeling Pretty Jade's outfit. And honestly, I'm scared that I was going to be obsessed because she looks so good. It matches her face and everything so well. Um, yeah, so that's Phoebe and those are just the uh, beautiful girls. Uh, well, um, there you have it guys. Um, thank you guys for watching this video um, You know do what you gotta do comment rate subscribe like the video also um, and follow me on Instagram at uh, Brats the world uh, Yeah, well, I'll obviously continue content for you guys Weekly um, if I randomly stop like it's because I'm busy or anything, but yeah, I will try to be as consistent um, as I've been with you guys. Also, check out my other videos on my channel if you have stumbled upon this and want to check out more. So, yeah. Um, and this is Miss Megan saying bye.